we're here to talk about, Gash. What we're here to talk about is is what's inside this AK. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing a lot of range testing lately, and uh, one of the things that I found amazing is that we've always said it's not about F FPS. It's about the internal components, how well they fit together, and the build quality. And I think we've discovered for real that Hop is king. Hop is king, and. It Welcome back to Airsoft Action TV. I'm Tom Anvil Hibbert. I'm Gareth Gatch Harvey. And today we're going to talk about the effects of different hop units inside an AEG. In our range testing, we found out that most mid range AEGs are around the 200 to 300 pound mark. have got a maximum gaming range of about 50 meters. Um, and they'll probably make reliable hits at about 40. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's obviously situational, some will vary. And we discovered that um, LCTs, AKMS, and AK-74 we've been using because they are essentially the same gun inside. Yeah, sorry, the barrel and gearbox are yeah. identical. Externally different, but everything else is the same. So what we've done in the forthcoming video is we decided to look at a stock set of LCT internals and their consistent range and accuracy yep, and versus uh, upgraded ones. And Tom, what did you do? So we the first test we ran was with a flat hop, with a modified bucking and a flat hop nub. That was using the stock LCT barrel. We then took that out in the field, I don't recommend that, and we put in a Red Hornet lapped stainless steel barrel with a pre-fitted R-Hot patch, just to see what the difference was. Now, as you'll see coming up, it's pretty amazing. Um, we were quite surprised, weren't we? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna ruin it for you viewing in a minute, but uh, let's just say that there have been some outrageous claims made in the past about range and accuracy from UK legal AGs. And we were a bit skeptical. We were like, mm, and uh, now we sort of believe them. Trying to believe them, <laughs> but you can see the, well, the proof of it is in the viewing. So, LCT AKMS, I'm um, stock out the box, just had a few games with it, so they hopped bedded in. I'm just gonna see if I can still hit targets at 50 meters. So, I can hear a couple of those thwack the paper target, a lot of crosswind, uh, it is at the extreme range for this AKMS, well extreme gaming range really, of around 55 metres. Just going to clear it, put the safety back on. So I'm not unhappy with that, so let's see if Tom's differences to the barrel and hop unit are going to affect the range of the stock LCT internals because while he's got a 74 and I've got an AKMS, internally it's exactly the same airsoft gun. Rolling. Okay, so Gadget's just finished shooting at the target with his LCT AKMS with a stock hot rubber stock barrel. They were making some hits at 50 meters on the target and the maximum range was about 55, 56 meters using a Devil Blaster 0.28 gram BB. So I'm gonna have a go with the same test using my LCT AK-74. In this, again, I've got a flat hop with the stock LCT barrel. So we'll see if we get any more range than the stock one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I can instantly see, right, we're actually talking at the 60 metre range already. Yeah, I'm now standing at the 60 metre point, and I'm certainly within danger range. They're coming across, just starting to lose they're sort of like, you know, they're just getting on the end of their arc, but you're still within danger. And actually, Tom's firing at the target and hitting it more times than not. Okay, let's see what Gadge found out. So I've just been shooting at the target and actually checking for effective range, or maximum range, with this flat hot LCT. How did I get on? Well, I think you're getting a 10% increase. Okay. A rough estimate. Before you were hitting the 55 meter point, now you're getting to 60, 61. Yeah. Um, equally, if you were aiming at the target, which I assume you were going to area, they were hitting the target more often than not. Okay. Um, uh, they were sort of like, but they were just getting to the edge of their kind of arc, Falling curving out. down, Falling bouncing up again, so you might get a ricochet or something a bit further. <laughs> but I think that, that small adjustment yeah. you've made has actually given you a bit more bang for your buck. It's really interesting. a simple thing. Yeah, it's probably, as we talked about in the last episode, Last time I had, to, I had to have so much hop on to get to lift the, the two well, My AKMS on two eight is almost at the point. I've got probably about two millimetres yeah. more adjustment left. Well, this one, I'm on about half. Right. 
So we've got less hot, therefore I'm robbing less energy out of the system. So you could probably run up to a point thirty on that. Awesome. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly switch this over to a R hop and we'll see what that does. So back on the drainage, I've just put the R hopped and lapped 6.02 barrel into my LCT AK74. So the inner diameter of the barrel is the same as the stock one, though this one is steel and has been very highly polished. And again, this has an R hop. So we'll see what this does. I've put, amazingly, I've got like, I don't know if you can see in there, virtually no hop on this at all at the moment, and it's already lifting the 28 BBs. It's pretty phenomenal, really. So we should probably get, again, a little bit more power to the BB. There's hops interfering the BB even less. So let's see if we get any more range. Tom! Ready when you are! Okay, I'm moving to about 57, 60 metres. Yeah, they're whizzing past me at 60, actually. So they're pretty much bang on. Sights are pretty much on. It's flying pretty, it's really consistent. So just see, Gadget's just, just going to see, he keeps moving backwards. Which is pretty encouraging. 63, 65 metres. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're going to hit me in the shins at 65, yeah, 65, 66 metres. Moving backwards again. A few flies because of the wind. Hang on, some of them are actually going a bit further than that, so it's not guaranteed, but we're almost reaching the 70 metre mark. They're certainly hitting the ground at 70 metres. Okay, so we'll see what Gash has to say. No, 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 they're going like that. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it's a little bit of 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 a little if it's not better than the previous shots of nose mods, it's pointless. And yeah. I was looking at the caller shot. At first I thought it was at the 60 metre mark, and I said, I'll get hit in the shins at that point. But some of the shots were actually curving up again, just at the edge of their arc almost. And then some of them are landing almost at 70 metres. Wow, okay. Now, you'd be safe there, but if you were airsoft mortaring, if you were giving it a burst of full auto, and you had a bit of a, maybe a bit of a wind behind you, yeah. I think you could probably get a hit at 70 so you reckon, if you look, but you so can do it. With the, with the flat hop, we're looking at 60-ish. Yeah, 60 or 63. This, this we're looking at probably at another 5 metres. Yeah, that sounds so a safe estimate. 67, 68, call it 70 on a good day. Yeah. So we've got 55 stock, yeah. 60, 60, 65 flat, 70 odd with an R hop. Okay, Tom, so I'm quite blown away by that. We're looking at perhaps an extra 15 metres or more, yeah. purely by changing your barrel and the way it hops. Yeah, so it was, I've, I've chronoed. So this one, so the stock hop was doing 0 0.8 joules. Yeah. The flat hop was doing 1 joule. Yeah. And the R hop was doing 1.12 joules. So it's slowing it down to impart more energy, is it? So from the actual well, in order leaving to, the yeah, barrel. Yeah, in order to it. lift the BB, yeah. In a stock hop, you have to put so much hop on that it's slowing, it's slowing the BB down. Yeah. Um, and the, and the other, as the hops get more exclusive, should we say, they, they, in order to put backspin on, they impede the BB less. Yeah. So it's a function of how much backspin you can put on and how fast the gun. Now, going. correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just saying that particular upgrade would cost you around about a hundred pounds. Something like to that. Do, yeah. Yeah. Now that people go hundred pounds for a barrel and a hop. It's crazy, but fifteen meters more range. You know, no, people not, will actually not touch the gearbox. Yeah. You're not damaging your internal components, there's no extra stress on them, you're not putting a bigger spring in or anything, you're still complying with like UK site regulations for most sites. Yeah. Um, if you said to people, you can buy this gun for 250 quid, and it fires to 55 metres reliably, yeah. 
or you can buy this gun for 350 quid and yep. it fires 70 meters reliably. People would say that's a no brainer. Yeah. I'm going to have the 350 pound gun. Our hops are notoriously hard to fit yourself, they need yeah. a lot of work. I personally, I'm a reasonably decent tech, I wouldn't do it. I'd flat my guns are generally flat hopped. The one in this one is phenomenal, it's not going back. I'm going to buy it off them. Yeah, it's staying in there. So, uh, got the airsoft action TV seal of approval Indeed. for um, yeah, Red Hornet barrels. So, fantastic work, guys. So what's your experience with upgrading your hop or your barrel of your AG? Do you think it's a waste of time? Are you happy with it being stock? Or are you the sort of person who can't leave an AG as it comes out of the box? Yeah, what, well, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either way, tell us in the comments section. Tell us uh, what you thought of the video. Tell us what you want to see next. Uh, do you agree with our findings or do you think we were just lucky? We want to hear from you guys because uh, you do drive our videos forwards. Indeed. The next thing we're going to do, I think, is heavier BBs out of this gun. And we're talking like 0.32s, 0.36s, that sort of thing. And just yeah. see what that does. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. I've been Tom Anvil Hibbard. I'm Gareth Gash Harvey. Please like, subscribe, ding that bell, and we'll see you next time.